alone at the Kaaba and they worship a false God, Allah. But we need to worship the f true God, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and King. He is the true God. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things of the church. Christ is the king. He's king of all the politicians. He's king of all, all this world. He is the king and his kingdom and he is the king. And we need to bow and worship him. And finally verse 23. Which is the body, the fullness of him that is all in all. We need to honour the church. We need to pray for the church. We need to wake up as a church. Why is the nation in a mess today in the UK? Because the church is weak, the church is, 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 is dead. The church is full of empire builders, people who are building their empires and not building the kingdom of Christ. The church is in a total mess because the church will not obey the word of God, the church will not follow the word of God, and the church will not obey the king. And the king has given us a commission and until the church wakes up in the UK, in America, and in the West, things will only get darker. But the King, the King of Kings gave us a commission. And this is what we need to be doing today. To combat Islam and to fight politically. This is what we need to be doing. Matthew 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be going into the world making disciples. Making disciples of Jesus. That people will come under the kingship of Christ. The rulership of Christ. That people would know their identities in Christ. That their identity is in an eternal kingdom. With an eternal king forever and ever. And that this world is passing away. That the UK is passing away. That all great empires are passing away. But there will be one kingdom that will last forever. And it is the kingdom of God. And Jesus Christ has come to bring that kingdom. In all its power and glory in him. And all the blessings of that kingdom. And all the understanding of that kingdom. And all the entrance to that kingdom. And all the fruit of that kingdom. Come in Christ. If you read Ephesians chapter 1. It says in Christ, in Christ, in Christ. In Christ, in Christ, all the blessings are in Christ. And that is what we need to be focusing on today. We need to focus more on Christ. More than anything else, more than Islam, more than any of these divisions and movements, more than any personalities like Toby Robinson. We need to be focusing our hearts on the riches of Christ and on the blessings of him. I hope that blesses you. And... Um, yeah, so it's a different perspective for you to think about. And uh, I would encourage you to get hold of this book, The Kingdom and the Power, by Peter J. Lightheart. And like I said, I don't agree with everything he says. Uh, in this book, I, I, I agree with most of what he says. I don't agree with everything he says in this federal vision. But this book is really, really good, and I've been so blessed. And it, it's made me focus more on spiritual things in these days I don't want to get political too political I don't want to get in, involved in the political that's not for me I want to focus on the spiritual and I'm encouraging you to focus on the spiritual spiritual side of the kingdom of God and I'd encourage you to get hold of this book meditate on it and read it and pray over it and it will bless you, it will really help you to stay focused on the importance of the local church, the importance of the church at this time. The need to pray for and encourage the church to awake and to be the kingdom of priests that they are to be in this world. And to go forward and extend the kingdom through preaching and discipleship of the word of, in the word of God. I'm going to pray. I hope this has been a blessing to you. I hope it's encouraged you. And I challenge Tommy Robinson. I challenge um, I challenge Tommy Robinson. I challenge the leadership behind him to get hold of this book and have a read of it. Get a second-hand copy. Get a King James Bible, Tommy, and, and everybody. 
King James Bible. And then get hold of the Fox's Book of Martyrs. Fox's Book of Martyrs. Get a copy of the Fox's Book of Martyrs. Get a copy, Tommy, of the Fox's Book of Martyrs. And get a copy of Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. And come to a knowledge of Jesus. Come to salvation. Know that Christ died for your sin. Come and know him. And enter the kingdom. And deal with these issues in a, as a spiritual man and a spiritual woman. Learning about the riches of Christ. And learning, learning about your evangelical heritage. Your Protestant evangelical her, heritage. In the Fox's Book of Martyrs. Look at the martyrs that died for the faith. William Tyndale who died translating this Bible. So that you could read it. Uh, Latimer Ridley were burnt at the stake. Look at the martyrs. Look at John Bunyan who wrote Pilgrim's Progress. That amazing book that talks about how to get salvation. And read your Bible. And read. Re read and f discover the riches of Christ. Read the sermons, uh, Tommy Robinson. Read the sermons of... Charles Spurgeon and learn about Christ learn about the Bible R go and listen to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones uh, listen to his sermons and I say this to all those who follow Tommy Robinson and I say this to all the Muslims go and listen to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones go and read the sp sermons of Spurgeon but ultimately as Muslims and as Tommy Robinson supporters all of you need to realise that the riches, and it's not political battle, it's not religion and politics that is the answer. The answer is knowing the riches of Christ. The answer is knowing the King. The answer is entering into the kingdom through Jesus Christ. That is the answer to everything. And in him are all the fullness of God. In him is all the blessings of the kingdom. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That's the answer. And that's what I want to focus on uh, and, and, and keep my mind on uh, in these days. All right, thank you for listening. I'm going to pray. Father, I just thank you for this day. And Father, I just pray that this video would be a blessing to people. And uh, Father, I pray that you would use it for your glory. May it touch lives, may it change people's lives. And may it bless people, Lord to focus on the kingdom and to not be sidetracked by all the things that are going on today very troubling things Lord but I pray that people would discover there's greater issues there is the kingdom of God and there is your agenda Lord and I pray that all of us will seek your agenda and your kingdom in Jesus name Amen Amen God bless you thank you for listening and uh, God bless you